Hey y'all, it's Ryan. Summer is right around the corner and that means it is adventure time. So today we are going to draw this really fun lantern. So grab your drawing tools and let's get to it. So to get started with our lantern night sky scene, I'm going to come into my layers, going to turn off my final. I'm gonna change my background color to white. Going to click the plus sign to create a new layer. Let's tap on it and rename this to sketch. Okay. In my actions, I'm gonna come down to canvas and set up drawing guide. If you do not have the uh, symmetry drawing guide set, you're just going to click edit drawing guide. Typically I have it on 2D, so I'm gonna change it to symmetry and make sure that it's in the center of my screen. Click done. In that new sketch, if you don't see the word assisted, click on that layer and click drawing assist. I'm going to change my brush to my 6B pencil and make sure I have my color set at black. Now the size of the canvas that I'm using in this illustration is 3000 by 3000 pixels with the DPI set at 300. All right, so let's start sketching. So for my sketch, I'm going to start in the middle of my canvas. I'm going to start where I want the outside glass of my lantern and then build the top and then the base of it. So because I have drawing assist on, whatever I do on one side will be done on the other for me. So I'm going to start, come to my middle line. I'm going to jump out just a slight bit to the left and draw in just that curved line. There's the shape of my glass bottle. Okay. Now I want to have this lantern look kind of old. So I'm going to have a secondary curve come out to the side just to have kind of show that iron or that metal that wraps around the, the glass part of my lantern, but I'm gonna build my top first. So I'm gonna rotate my canvas just a little bit. Even though I have drawing assist on, I am going to cross the midline a little bit just to make sure that I get the curved shape that I want. Then same at the top. I'm gonna round it down and connect. There we go. And then I'm gonna come up a little bit. I'm gonna start off to the side, off to my left, and I'm gonna make an S shape, or kind of like what you see in Tetris, the um, funky sideways Z. So I'm gonna come up, into the right, up, and into the right, and then connect in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna have a third layer so I'm going to come in to the right just a little bit. And I'm just going to draw a straight line up. And then again, I'm going to cross that midline to create the top of my lantern. And then I'm going to create the, the hook where I can hold it at the top. All right. Now I'm gonna jump down to my base. So I still have my drawing assist on. So I'm going to consider where the bottom of my glass bottle is. I'm gonna come into that middle and draw base for my lantern. Okay, so I'm going to draw two, well, I'm gonna draw one. Again, drawing assist, it does it on the other side. So this is where I'm going to have 
a hook kind of coming through. So you'll just see a little bit of it. And then I'm gonna draw the handle going up. So it's going to look like someone's holding onto this lantern. So the handle is going to be going up. I'm just going to draw that curved line up and hold so it snaps to for me. Draw a secondary one. There we go. And then I can color that in. Okay, so now that I have kind of where my hook is, I'm going to draw that secondary curve line out to the side that I talked about earlier that kind of holds that glass bottle in place. So I'm gonna bump up my pencil just a little bit. Okay. And then hold so it snaps too. There we go. So next I'm going to add the scene within my lantern. So for this, I need to turn off my drawing assist. So come into my layers, turn off drawing assist. And I'm gonna have a camping scene right here. So I'm going to draw there's the, the flat ground, or there's the ground that my tents are going to sit on top of. And then for my tents, I'm going to put them off to kind of one side. So I'm going to draw a curve line up and then down for the front of the tent, and then a line going straight down the middle. Going to draw a straight line going back. And this one is actually going to be sitting Kind of it's cut off by my lantern and then for my next one do the same kind of process of a swoop line straight line down straight line going back and then a slight curve on that back I'm gonna lower my brush size to draw in my fire. So I'm going to just kind of scribble what would be the logs that this fire is going to be sitting on. And then for a really simple fire shape, I'm going to draw it come out and then come back in and up. And then on the other side, I'm not going to connect it, but I am gonna follow a similar line. And then on the inside, to show movement. And there's my really simple fire in, in the middle of my scene. So now I'm going to come in and add color into my lantern. So my first step is in my sketch layer, I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. And I'm going to lower the opacity on it just so I can barely see it. Um, so I know where to put different elements while I'm coloring it in. So I'm going to add a layer beneath my sketch layer so I can still see where that, that those lines are and I'm not coloring over them. So this I'm going to rename Lantern. There we go. Okay, so for the lantern, I want a dark orange, almost rusty kind of look to it. So in my color wheel, I'm gonna select, it's more brown, but it's off here to the side, it's in the orange family. I'm gonna change my brush to the Tamar painting. I've really um, come to really love this, the look of this, this brush. So in this new lantern layer, I am gonna click drawing assist to turn that back on because I'm just coming over my lines. And so I want them to, again, I wanna take, want my canvas to be taken care of on both sides for me. 
So for this, I'm gonna start at the top. Nope. Let's turn that brush down to 2%. And I am just going to trace over my sketch that I started with. Now make sure that you are really happy with the lines that you're making because this will be the final product that you see. So I would suggest just taking your time, going slow over your lines. Okay, to make the glass portion of my lantern actually have that glass look to it with being um, somewhat opaque and have the lights or the reflections shining on them, I'm going to do a couple of things. So first, I'm going to change my background color just to a dark green. This isn't the, the color that I'm going to use in the final one, but it'll help me to see the white that I'm drawing for the glass. Now in my layers, I'm going to add a new layer below my lantern. I'm going to change my brush to white and then monoline. Now I'm going to have the size set at 50. In my layer, it still needs to be drawing assisted. And then I'm just going to come in and draw in the glass or where I'm going to want it. I'm gonna close it at the bottom and the top and then fill it. Okay, so here's the little trick that I like to use. So I'm going to swipe to the left and click duplicate. On my lower layer, I'm going to hold until I get my color dropper for my background. Now I'm going to click select. Make sure it's on color fill. So now my second layer has been filled with that, my background color. So next on my, the top layer, I'm going to come over to my actions click on my select, make sure color fill is turned off. It's going to be set to automatic and I'm going to tap on the outside or on the green background. Now I'm gonna come down to feather. I'm going to turn that feather up um, amount up to about 28%. So that's where it's going to fade to. I'm going to come up here and click invert. And then in my canvas wrench, I'm going to come to add and click cut. So cut out that portion of the, the background. So that is really light. So I'm going to duplicate it to make it a little bit darker. You can see it, but then I'm gonna turn it down just a hair so I can make it really, set it really where I want it to be. All right. So now we're going to start working on the background or the scene within my lantern. So on my green colored lantern, I'm going to click the plus sign. And I'm going to make this into a clipping mask. So everything I do will only show up on that, that layer. 
So here I'm going to select a darker green. Make sure my brush is set back to the Tamar brush. And because it's a clipping mask, I can start off of the layer. And then I'm going to bring it around to close and then color fill. Okay. And then I'm going to work on my scene next because the last thing that I'm going to add is that black sky in the background. So then click the plus sign, make it a clipping mask, and I'm going to drag it in between. So in my colors, I'm going to select kind of that rusty brown again, a little lighter, and start working on my tints. So because I've put it behind that other green layer or the, the ground layer, it'll look like the tints are sitting more on top of it. That and I can just draw my lines fairly loosely instead of having to worry about being so precise. Okay, I'm gonna select a slightly lighter color to, oops, I need to come back in and close those shapes. So just like I did with the grass, close them up. So now I can come in with a lighter color to fill in the tints. Okay. Next, I'm going to work on the, the fire. So still a clipping mask. I am gonna do this on a different layer because I'm going to add the blur of the fire around it. So I'm gonna select that bottom layer, plus sign, so it's automatically a clipping mask. I'm gonna select a darker brown for the wood that my fire is on. And again, just kind of scribble those lines in. Okay. And then I'm going to set my fire behind it. I'm gonna start with an orange. And then I'm gonna move into a yellow. It's gonna be more of a shadow or a glow behind the orange. So I'm not lifting my pencil because I don't want different colors to pop up right here. Because if I lift and now I see I have a different yellow going on, it's a different shade. I'm gonna come back to my orange layer, go back to that orange color and add in those details. Okay, so now in my yellow layer, I can come up here to my blur. Oops. I'm gonna add a slight blur, let's take it up to four. I'm gonna do the same on my orange layer. Go. So I'm gonna add the black for my night sky before adding kind of the, the light moving out from my, my fire. So in my layers, going to, oops, add a new clipping mask underneath all of these. I'm gonna select black from my color wheel. And this is going all the way around. And I'm gonna color fill. There's my night sky. On top of that night sky, 
I'm gonna change my brush to my soft brush, which can be found in airbrushing. I'm gonna come back to that yellow. I'm gonna have my brush size set at four. And I am just going to follow the outline of that, the fire. And then I bring the color a little bit lighter and do a secondary one. And I'm just going to keep building it lighter and lighter until I get up to white. Okay, now in my actions, I'm gonna come into my blur. I'm gonna blur that to about 20%. So now I have the same color that's on the inside of my fire getting lighter as it goes out and then fading into the black sky, the night sky. All right. Next up in my scene, I'm going to come in and add my stars. So I want all of that on top of my black night sky. So I'm just gonna click on the black one, add a new layer, it's automatically a clipping mask for me. In my brushes, I'm gonna come down to the luminance and I'm going to select glimmer one. I have it set all the way up at 100 to start with. And I'm just going to lightly tap to put random kind of stars in the sky. You can bring that down a little bit if you want to add more up in the middle. Then I'm going to make sure I'm on bright white. I'm gonna change, still in my luminance brush library, I'm gonna change to flare. And I have that set at six. And I'm going to put the Big Dipper constellation here in my night sky. So what that looks like, is essentially you're just the four corners of the cup. From my top left corner, I'm gonna come up and over to the left. Once more and then come down to the left. So there's the spoon and there's my Big Dipper. And then I can come back to that glimmer brush and just kind of fill in more stars. Let's turn that size down a little bit. In the background to fill up some of the space. All right, so next I'm going to work on filling in my lantern and adding details there. So coming back into my lantern layer, I want the inside of this lantern to be slightly lighter than the color I did for the outside, just so you can see where the different sections are. So I did a color drop, so I held my finger down to find that color that I used. And then in my disc, in the color wheel, I'm going to just move it up and over to the left, so it's just, again, the slightest bit lighter. Now I can color drop and then click on continue filling so I can do the color drop into the rest of the lantern. Now I would like to add some pretty designs into the lantern just to give it that um, pretty kind of vintage antique look or feel. So I'm gonna add a new layer, make it a clipping mask. I'm gonna come back to my original darker color I'm gonna change my brush back to Tamar. I'm gonna make it size one. And 
and I'm just going to add in some designs on each section. Now for this one, I'm actually going to turn drawing assist on. So that way, just like I'm gonna do down here at the base, I'm going to give it that rounded look. So I only have to do this on one side and it takes care of the other one for me. So I'm gonna bump that brush size up to two. lines and then one going down the middle so now it gives kind of that rounded effect to it okay turn drawing assist off make my brush size back take it back down to one and then I'm just going to add some swirls Here I have the top part of my lantern. Now again, I'm gonna come back into my layers, turn on drawing assist for my clipping mask, take my brush size back up to three, and just like I did at the top, set up those slightly curved lines down at the bottom to show or add that curve to my lantern. So the next piece that I'm, the next detail I'm going to add on top of my glass is going to be those reflections. So showing kind of where light would be showing on top of the glass. And then I'm also going to add a shadow underneath the top of my lantern and at the bottom where it's connecting to the glass, just to show that it is a connection there. There is something over uh, the glass, so it's going to give it a shadow. So in my layers, I'm going to add a new layer at the very top, make my color white, and I'm gonna take my brush back to monoline. Now I'm gonna have this set at, let's go 60%. And I am just going to draw in kind of following the curves of the glass kind of where those reflections would be and I don't want them to be in the exact same spots on the right side that I'm having it on the left Now I'm gonna come up to my actions, select blur. I'm gonna bump blur up to about 10, and then I can still come into my that layer and turn it down to about 65, just so it's lightly there. It's not crazy obvious that I've put these white, hard white lines on, on the glass. Turn that back up just a smidge. Let's take it up to 75. There we go, that's better. All right. So now I'm gonna add in the shadows between the top of my lantern and the glass and the bottom of my lantern. 
So for that, I'm going to add a new layer. I'm gonna bring this layer down below my lantern layer and that glass layer. I'm gonna make my color a darker gray. And my brush is going to be the noise brush. Which is found in the materials brush library. I'm gonna make that brush size five. And I am just going to carefully draw in that shadow. Get the seven, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna do that a couple of times. I'm also going to come down here and do the same at the bottom. And I'm just going over it twice so that it's a little darker because I am going to add a blur to it and that will lighten it up. So in my adjustments, Blur. Let's take that up to, let's go six. And then I'm going to lower the opacity down to 80%. So it's just barely there. And you can see that there is a difference between my glass layer and now my lantern. So last up, we're gonna start working on our background. So the first thing that I want to add for my background is going to be a shadow underneath my lantern. So before I do that, I'm going to come into my layers and I'm going to select the very top one and I'm going to swipe to the right on every layer dealing with my lantern and click group. So now it's clean and it's easy. So I'm going to add a layer beneath it. I have my brush, I'm gonna set it to black, and then I'm gonna turn my brush back to soft. Let's go monoline. And I'm gonna bump it up to 100. Now, because it's behind this entire layer, I can just draw an oval and then color fill. I'm gonna move this down and over a little bit and stretch it out. Okay, now in my adjustments, I'm gonna add a blur. Turn that up to 25. And then in the opacity, I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 70. So now that I have my shadow here, I'm going to change the background color of my, my image. So first I'm actually going to grab this lighter orange. So it's up here in my selected color. And then I'm gonna come down and click on, whoops, Harmony. So that way I have a good idea of what color blue or what color would go well with the, the brown that's in the background. So now I have that selected. I'm gonna come into my background color layer. Change it to that blue. Actually, I'm gonna make it just a slight bit darker, which is where it was originally, and then I changed it. Okay. Now into my background, I'm gonna add more of the, the stars kind of in the background, just again to carry the idea that someone's carrying this lantern. So I can't add anything into my actual background color, so I need to add a layer underneath everything else. I'm gonna come into yellow and make it a very light yellow. In my brushes, I'm gonna come back into that luminance brush library and select glimmer. I'm going to have it set at, let's go with 70. 
and I have the opacity set down to 80 as well. And I am just going to lightly add in kind of the, the glimmering stars behind it. And then again, come into my brush library and change it to flare. And I'm gonna change that to bright white. I'm gonna up this to about 20. I'm gonna add one over here to the side and then I'm gonna change that brush down to eight. I'm just going to lightly tap and add in those bright stars into the night sky. I can turn off my drawing guide. I can now merge all of my layers together. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you're notified when new videos are posted. Hope to see you soon.